In this video I'm going to make the foot plate step. The LBSC drawings do give some dimensions for this. However, comparing that with the photographs of the full size engine, the proportions look a little different. I've therefore made up a sketch of what I think is better proportion from a scale perspective. So we've got two of these to make. And the first job is to make a former from which we can shape some sheet metal around this shape here. And I've got a bit of bar to do that. Say 19. Say 6. Say 60. So my original plan when I uh, made this former was to cut uh, a fairly large piece of uh, sheet material, wrap it around like so, braise it all together including brazing it onto the uh, former and then come in with a slitting saw and slit off two of the um, straps that form the step. However, since then I've come to my senses, so I'm going to cut off some uh, thin strips of material, 4mm wide. So when you look at the photograph there's actually a slight gap between these two straps for a short length. So I'm going to put a little piece in to simulate that.
think that looks good. Okay, just trim into the lens. So the horizontal mail is still set up with a, a horizontal cutter from the previous job. So I'm just going to use it to cut some pieces from this bit of bar to make this part of this uh, step. So this is kind of a block from which these, this kind of stirrup hangs. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little slot in here, uh, 3 32s wide by 80 thou deep um, as a location for the uh, stirrup. So these are parallel grip pliers which come in handy on a drilling machine. So I can just pop that in there to hold it. Okay, so this is where we are now. Just needs brazen together, or silver soldering, I should say. So time to make the uh, footplate. Okay, I've made up a couple of uh, pieces of thin material. This is uh, 0.5 millimeters thick. And I'm just going to glue them onto a backing plate. Five minutes. Just tidy up the edge.
Okay, so we're going to put in the milling machine and just mill a slot uh, through the two plates. I'm going to clump it as well as the glue just to make sure we're not relying just on the glue. Ok so that's those two plates done, I've just filed the radius on the points, I put it on the hot plate to break the uh, bond of the glue. So this end of the uh, triangle is actually curled up. So I've uh, just taken what's left of the backing plate, filed the radius on and we'll use that as a former. Looks good. Yeah, happy with that.
I've just glued it in position there to mark the position of the holes. So I'm tapping 9 b here, this is a taper tap. I'm leaving the holes quite shallow. They're about 3mm deep. Looks okay. So I don't think I've got any 9 by screws, but I'm going to have to make some square hollow ones anyway. <laughs> 